Hi, I'm Sage. So I want to ask you right now, okay, transgender person to transgender person, or anybody really, human to human, I want you to focus on your heart right now, and I want you to answer this question from your heart. How do you feel? How do you feel? What do you feel coming up in your heart? And I just want you to just feel into that and just accept it, that it's happening. And you're gonna feel so much better. Because you've accepted yourself at some level. You've accepted that you're feeling a certain way. This is what you are crying out for every day. As a transgender person, as a person, your feelings could feel so overwhelming that you are just insane with pain sometimes. And you try to numb it and try to escape it, but it's futile, it's futile to resist. You cannot do it, you cannot do it. <laughs> because eventually you're gonna go to a point where you're just too crazy and it's fucking you up too much mentally and emotionally and physically too even. Because it manifests stress through your body will fuck up your body, you know. We know this based on medical science and also just based on, um, your heart would tell you that. Your heart would say, yeah, my mental and emotional health affect my body, including your appearance, by the way. How many times have I or have you just felt gotten up and felt really bad about yourself and you look in the mirror and you're just like, you know, looking at yourself and being like, oh, I'm ugly, oh, I'm not who I say I am, like, you know, I'm mannish if you're a trans woman, or oh, I just look like a girl if you're a trans man. How many times have you gotten up and looked at yourself and felt this horrible self-hatred? How many times have you felt that when you get up and then you go out and you have a bad day? You get misgendered, you, uh, get fucked, uh, fucking irritated with people. You get um, just so upset by people. How many times has that happened to you? Where you're so upset at yourself and then other people upset you even more and misperceive you, don't perceive your right gender. How many times have you wished that you could have a way to make this end? How many times have you wished that you could have a real way to deal with your feelings when they're overwhelming? or every time that you feel bad? How many times? How many times have you wanted the answer and the way out? Have you ever considered that you can just love yourself in these moments? That you can just use self-love and transcend forever the upsetting thing that you're experiencing? One layer and step at a time. Have you ever considered that you could feel better and better each day, that you can feel more and more the woman that you are, that you can feel more and more the man that you are, you can feel more and more the person who you are, unshakably like a tree with roots that go meters deep. I don't know why I use meters, I'm an American, so but whatever. I think it's because meters are like three feet units, so it feels bigger. With roots that go meters deep. Um, that this is me and no wind will shake me. Ain't nothing will move me. I am invincible. My identity cannot be shaken. Through every fiber of my being, through every cell of my body, through every pore of my face, through every strand of my hair, you know, and every uh, hair on, on my body or not, I feel my womanhood or my manhood or my true self my selfhood, is coming through me powerfully, magically, uninterruptibly. This is my experience. And uh, yeah, I, I just love it. You know, I love it. I'm my beautiful, crazy, but crazy, crazy in a good way. Crazy for the Lord. <laughs> crazy in a good way. Um, vibrant, loving, kind, heartfelt self. You know, who cries with joy and rapturousness at who I am and who loves myself. 
Well, I didn't just get this overnight by snapping my fingers. And I didn't just, I've chosen this thousands of times, thousands of times. I've chosen to love myself. I've chosen to feel my feelings and accept them. I've chosen to love myself. I've chosen peace inside of myself. I've chosen this through the things that seem the most daunting. I've gone through the fits of where I'm so angry and saying like, I would kill that person if they were in distance. I would kill them. I hate myself, I'll, you know, kill myself. Although that's, I haven't had that as much, but I've had that. All this stuff, I've chosen love and I've chosen peace because I've, ta I've been taught how. I've been taught how by Jeff and Shalia, my spiritual teachers. I've been taught by Jeff and Shalia and by all of my coaches in my community, Twin Flames Universe, how can I love myself out of this hell that I believe being transgender is? How can I escape hell? And it's not outside of yourself that you escape hell. It's inside of yourself that you escape hell. I am here because I'm extending a hand to you saying, come with me, sister, brother, sibling. Come with me and walk the hell out of hell with me. I, Sage, create a trans ascend to help you love yourself. And if you want to see in depth how to walk yourself through a really upsetting emotion, like if you get misgendered as a transgender person, I implore slash invite, really I, I invite you to go to my trans ascend page and look at my previous live video from today, um, the 25th of October, and look at how I work through this upset. And you will feel so much self-love and peace if you honestly work through this with me. Now, if you want more support, if you want me to guide you and hold your hand through the, through the path, I invite you to go to my link here in the description of this live video and book a free consultation with me, Sage. And you can start your, your journey of, trans, of transcending all of your fucking upsets about yourself and loving yourself genuinely and claiming the life that you know you deserve in your heart at, you know, in some place. So yeah, that's my invitation to you. I'm Sage with Transcend. And uh, yeah, I hope to see your cute, smiling, beautiful, and divine face soon. Um, watching you in a free consultation with me, video to video, face to face, loving heart to loving heart, heart that desires and calls out to be loved. Hallelujah. I'm Sage with Transcend. I love you. And I look forward to serving you. See so, ya. Yeah, bye.